Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about mixtures. Uh, in previous video we learned about what are the pure substances in which what were the pure substances they were divided into categories one were elements and another one compounds. Now you know that what are the elements and what are the compounds. Elements are the substances which are made up of only one kind of atom. One kind of atom will be there. Where in case of compounds there was only one kind of one kind of molecule was there. Molecule. So what was the difference between the elements and compound? Here was only one kind of atom and here was only one kind of molecule. Here I can show you like this. This one is sodium. Mm, this one is sodium atom. Sodium element suppose. So what will be the its atom will be look like? Like this it will be. Only one kind of atom will be there. You know? So we can represent these are the sodium atoms like this like this so these all are the sodium so it is element we can recognize or in case of compound what will be there only one kind of molecule will be there like h2 water the formula of water is h2 so we can represent it this is uh, one molecule of water same way another molecule of water another molecule of water like this we can make here you can see same type of molecules are there throughout its volume like this. Now you can recognize it that this is compound because it is made up of two or more than two elements. Here you can see two elements are there and only one kind of elements are there that's why they are pure. But what will happen if I will mix two impure substances like C what it will be if I will mix here is sugar and water what will happen you will see if we are taking a beaker like this and we will mix here some sugar and some water what will happen as you will stir it you will see after some time sugar is completely mixed throughout its volume and you can't recognize it by seeing that where sugar went and where is the water means only by tasting it tasting it you can recognize that in this water sugar is present so here you can see in this mixture what happens sugar is there water is there but there is no chemical bonding between the sugar and water molecule that's why it is forming a mixture which is called homogeneous mixture or in mixture how we can define that mixture is a impure substances impure substance which is formed which is formed with the help of pure substances like elements or compounds but there will be no chemical bonding no chemical bonding there will be no chemical bonding and some of the mixtures you can recognize by seeing that it is a mixture or some of a mixture you can't recognize the mixtures whom you can't recognize that is homogeneous mixture means by seeing you can't predict that what is inside that mixture is present or one more type of mixture is there that is heterogeneous mixture what is that suppose here was sugar and water here i will take water and water and sand particles sand some sand so if i will mix it in a beaker what will happen just see here will be the some sand particle like this and some water i will pour here from any glass or some another vessels like this what will happen the sand particle will be settled down at the bottom after stirring it after some time it will be and you can re easily recognize that water is here as to and these are the sand particles you can easily see now these are the sand particles at bottom and here is water so this kind of mixture where you can easily recognize that 
it is made up of what are the constituents elements or which are the constituents com compounds are here that type of mixture is called heterogeneous mixtures or uh, in this there will be no uniform composition throughout its volume means here is the particle you can see here is density of that sand particle is more here is less density of sand particle means composition is not uniform where in case of homogeneous mixture you can see here is uniform density as you will take a water from here it will be the same same amount of the taste, taste no? the same sweetness as it will be from here means there will be a uniform composition so in this way we can define that homogeneous mixtures are the mixtures in which the constituents particles or we can say components like what are the constituents particles in this solution you can see there is sugar and water these are the constituents particle or we also can say component component of this mixtures or uh, if we are mixing these in water then it will be a solution so in which the constituent components or we can say particles are uniformly distributed throughout its volume you can see throughout its volume it will be uniformly distributed and can't be recognized separately you can't by seeing it you can't recognize that it is what particles are present in this solution that type of in this mixture that type of mixture is called homogeneous mixtures where in case of heterogeneous mixture what is here a mixture in which the components components what are here components water and sand in which the component or we can say constituent particles are not uniformly distributed you can see here is more dense here is density of that particles are less are not uniformly distributed throughout its volume and can be easily recognized separately and you can recognize it separately like this here is sand here is water that type of mixtures are called heterogeneous mixtures or uh, in this way we can define that mixtures what are Mixtures can be defined as impure substances which are formed by mixing two or more, two or more what that is substances, pure substances like elements and compound as we can see now. Sugar is a compound. What is the formula of sugar? That is C12H22O11. As in previous table, now, I told that write it from the that you can learn these. The like this we can make this one so one important thing that in mixtures there will be what is the difference between compounds and mixtures you can see from here in compounds compounds there will be chemical bonding where in case of mixture there will be no chemical bonding so what is a chemical bonding is here see what does it mean suppose you are here and this one is your friend now what will be there there will be the strong bonding strong bonding between you and your friend will be there so what we can say in simple way bonding is nothing other than uh, attraction force we can say it as attraction force means if they are closer then they will attack each other in the same way like in the case of h2o this is oxygen here is one hydrogen element hydrogen atom hydrogen atom this one is oxygen atom so what they will do this oxygen will attract this hydrogen and this oxygen will attract this hydrogen so this will form a compound where in case of mixture what will be there suppose what was here in this example in this example you can see this is your friend so there is attraction forces more you will be more familiar with them in the same way if a stranger one suppose you are here you are this one is you and this one is a strange person or you don't know there is no friendship between you even you are sitting together but there will be no bonding between you means you will not talk that much or you will not feel that much closure means in simple way we can say the attraction force attraction force between you and that stranger one will be less 
uh, same way it will happen in mixtures like sand particles are water is there as to we can represent like you can see they are even closer to each other but there is no chemical bonding so this is the difference between mixture and compounds in this way now you can recognize that what are the homogeneous mixtures what are the heterogeneous mixtures